Hello students, it's Heather. I kind of want to help students find empirical articles because it's not a very easy task. Even as a researcher for doing it many, many years, I learn new little tricks every, oh, every so often and it really helps your search time because search time, you don't want it to be tedious. You want it to be quick and easy and you know, we only have to find a certain amount for our class. So I, I want to try to make this a little bit easier for you. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get to the BBC library. Um, you don't, you can do it all online, so you don't have to physically go in. If you're having some complications, the librarians are great and they will really help you too. So you can for go into our class on Blackboard, click library, which we're going to do, or you can go to the main VBC webpage that also has a library and you'd click on library. So if you click on library, I have a lot of them open already so we can save our time on this video. So this would be the main page of the library. For our class, um, article databases um, might be good or you can go into internet resources. So if you pick internet resources, you can actually, um, if you're in my child development class, you still might want to do psychology because a lot of us are psychology based. If you're in my psychology classes, psychology would be great. So you could do either, even if you're in my psychology class, if you're doing something children oriented, you go to child development. I already picked psychology, so we're going to click on to that. I'm going to take you to the pages. So I really like um, EPCOs. So you're going to click there and you're going to get this. So this is kind of what we call our search engine. I have one already up, so let me get it. There we go. So with our search engine, and I have new pages, so we don't have to take so long. You're going to put your topics in here. Now, wording matters in here to get what you want. So maybe you want to do something about your topics on adolescence and depression. It can be, it can be something different, but I'm just kind of help you. So I first put in adolescence. Now with this, why it's important to click, so if I erase this, let me do that, and I put adolescence. Now see here how you have different options? And I went down and picked this one because that means I'm gonna, it's gonna hit these words. So if I just put adolescence, I might be limiting my topic of choice and articles. So I picked that one. Now you can even take another step after you've done stuff. You can find it as a lot of times I like to put subject terms. And then these are what we call our Bolinarian phrases. So you can have and, you can have not. So maybe there's something like, and I'm going to do an example. So we were looking up depression. Now the thing with depression, a lot of times articles will also have anxiety. And maybe you're like, I'm not researching anxiety. I'm just doing depression. So you're going to pick an anxiety and then that will help. So you don't want anxiety, you just want articles on depression. So you can play with these um, to limit your things. Now another really important thing that students don't know about is these little handy tools. So what you're going to need to look, um, Boolean phrases you want to keep there. You want to click full text. Full text major is going to give you everything because a lot of times they're just going to give you the abstract. And I'm going to teach you how to read it to make it easier too but you want full text. You also want to come down here and click article because we're not going to accept magazines. I'm not going to accept newspapers. I'm not going to accept any of that. I don't even want, um, the abstract is connected, but I want the full article and you're going to be sending those to me. Now you can also put peer review because that means it's going to be peer reviewed. That means it's published. So you're going to push search right down here. And let's see what we get. So we have 955 options. That's a lot. You do not have to read all these. So what you also can start doing is going into our other little refined sources. So over here. So you got full text, you want peer review. Um, even if you wanna change the dates, I don't care, you can put whatever you want. A big thing that really helps is academic journals, which really had the same for this particular one, but if you had something else, it might be different. Now, the thing about all this, sometimes you can tell due to what the title says, sometimes you can't to know if it's empirical or not. So I'm just gonna pick this first one to see if it's empirical or not and tell you how to look quickly. So I'm clicking on it, it says it has a PDF, PDFs are great. Now, 
when you do this to decide, you do not have to read all 900 articles to decide which five you need for a class. What you can do is read the abstract. And does the abstract seem like it's something interesting to you? Now, to do our paper assignment, you cannot just read the abstract. You have to read the whole thing. But this helps you decide, hey, this is kind of what I'm talking about. This is what I want to research. I'm going to keep this one. So how can we find it? Oh, sorry. There it goes. So to read the whole thing. Now, I didn't read it. I'm just going with it. Maybe I like it. It sounds great. It sounds like something I'm really interested in. So adolescent smoking behavior and communication with parents, depression, really has nothing to do with the topic that I was initially looking for. So maybe I like it, maybe I don't, but I'm just going to show you to see if it's a empirical or not. So you click PDF. PDFs are like this. You can't change anything. And it takes a little while to load. So here we go. So Notice, I'm not looking at anything right now. I'm scrolling. <gasps> There's the method section. So this means it's empirical. This thing right here. That tells me it's empirical. How do I know? They did a study because there's participants. There's measures, which I want to know all about. I'm going to do another video on all that. But this is to really help you see. I don't have to read the whole thing to see if it's empirical or not. I look for the methods section. If they have it, then I can consider it. If they don't have it, I'm not going to use this one at all. Now, with this being said, I want you guys to send me your articles. So I don't want you to send it to me. You can send it into an email. And what's nice about the VVC, if you're using your VVC email, you can actually email this to or load it to your Google Drive. You know, you could do a different things, which is great for you. However, when you send it to me, I don't want the link because it's not going to tell me who's sending me this. I don't know whose article it is. What you can do if you go here, you can go to download and then you're going to download it to your computer. So maybe you're going to put maybe your name, Heather, and I'm going to put depression, write it out, and then I'm going to, I'm just going to save it now and you save it. Now, when you go to email it to me, it's on your computer and you can upload the PDF as an attachment. So this is very helpful for that. So this one was empirical, wasn't really around my topic, but let's go to what the other ones were. So that was the first one on there. Now let's see, let's start looking at some titles. Can self-training and mindfulness based on cognitive therapy alleviate mild depression among Chinese adolescents? Maybe that interests you. Um, association of adverse childhood experience and suicidal behaviors in adulthood in the U.S. nationally represent a sample. That sounds pretty interesting. Maybe I want to focus on suicide. So I'm going to click that PDF and we're going to see is it empirical or not. Oh, it has a method section. So it's empirical so I could possibly use it. So hopefully that helped you find things. Um, if you're struggling, it might be the actual words that you're picking. So sometimes the struggle is actually right in here. Oh, I went away. We went back in that area. So maybe the struggle is the wording that you're picking. So sometimes you have to play with this to get what you want. So just make sure um, you can send me some questions if you're really struggling. Um, you can even send me some topics that you're interested in and I can give you some helpful key terms to use that might help. But that's really how to make it quicker and faster and you don't have to read every article. Read the abstract if it makes it similar to you. Pull the PDF up. If it has a method section, that means it's empirical so you can use it. But if it doesn't have a method section, it's not empirical. So hopefully that helped.